let's discuss about the solid handling process solid handling equipment which work on uh, pneumatic conveyor which classify as the pneumatic conveyor bucket elevator screw conveyor and built conveyor pneumatic conveyor used originally for the grain now is widely used for the cement catalyst cork and powder of chemical right so it's used for the handling of solid material or transportation of the solid particle so mostly it used the various types of uh, conveyor which are mostly used for the transportation of the solid particle or solid substance in which pneumatic conveyor originally used for the transportation of the cement catalyst cork and powder chemical this is a bucket type elevator which used for elevating materials and it can be used for moving powder or granule mat uh, from the storage or between the reaction vessel as uh, it, it is a movable bed reactor or catalytic process right now this is one type of conveyor which known as a screw conveyor which mostly used for the mix and heat or cool or uh, pressurize any solid powder right so it's mostly used for the mix and heat or cool and uh, operate under pressure uh, uh, solid particle then we are go for the screw conveyor because it has ability to change the temperature and applying the pressure now let's discuss about the belt conveyor it can be used to handle large volume over long distance with uh, economically uh, or cost saving which mostly used near the horizontal building may be a uh, fabric or the is a uh, use for the rubbery material so this uh, made of fabric material or rubbery material and uh, mostly used for the handling of large volume of solid particles and solid and transfer this solid particle in horizontal distance right now let's discuss about the solid solid separation the solid solid separation can be done by the screening uh, in screening wire plastic or fabric screen are the normally used to separate solid from the uh, various size of particle right so particle will be flow down from this pores and we can collect it so this is a very easy technique which used for solid solid separation larger particle are not going uh, from this screen so it will be rejected and small particle will be transferred from this pores and we can easily collect so this is one operation which known as a solid solid separation can be done by the screening right second one is known as the elutrization in which which may be uh, used to remove fines from a solid by passing of gas to fluid like transportation or fine particle right here due to the cyclone shape uh, the larger particle are transport from this discharge line because of the centrifugal force right because of this centrifugal force is flowing like this and transfer from the discharge line where small particle we can collect from the upper side then next one which is a fourth flotation force flotation which mostly used to remove the suspended uh, particle from the water right uh, here we are just going to pass some gas and it create force right uh, so this force collect a small particle of metal that can be collected from the upper side and we can get the clear liquid here then second one is the jigging jigging is a technique which used for separation of solid solid particle one of the oldest process used for the separation of heavy minerals from the lighter uh, lighter gaseous as well as separation uh, separation of coal from the heavier contaminant so it's also used for the gas solid separation and solid solid separation also best example for this uh, uh, operation is a separation of coal from heavier contaminant third one is a magnetic separation which look like this in magnetic uh, separation which uh, mostly used to uh, trap the iron right 
uh, we know that magnet uh, attract the ion so it's used to separate out ion from the waste or uh, ion ores the this schematic is used for the batch distillation where this schematic are used for the continuous distillation process right uh, this schematic represent are important to draw the process flow diagram for the any chemical plant process flow diagram is a arrangement of all equipment for manufacturing of single product right so to draw the process flow diagram we need to understand certain symbol which are used for the particular equipment so this is a symbol for the distillation or can say that batch distillation where this is a symbol for the continuous uh, distillation in continuous distill uh, distillation this is a tray tower where this is used for the packed tower right so continuous di distillation that can be uh, done in two type of uh, tower or can say that two type uh, two type of column one is a tray column and second is a packed column right so this both are schematic representation for the distillation one is a batch distillation and second for the continuous distillation batch distillation used for the inter uh, intermediation operation and handling of small volume of feed and product while the continuous process and tray towel used for the high volume continuous separation of complex mixture such as a petroleum fraction where pack column use packing for the separation or continuous fraction this both are contact with the appropriate pump z boiler condenser and automatic control right now let discuss about the drying drying uh, process in which we are going to remove the moisture so for that the spray dry, uh, dryer are used rotary dryer are used and tunnel dryer are used so this is a symbol for the spray dryer uh, this is a symbol for the rotary dryer and this is a symbol for the tunnel dryer spray dryer suitable for the large capacity operation on a liquid feed to give uh, the spherical powder and for the uh, free uh, free flowing uh, product which are mostly used in production of pigment detergent synthesis of resins and uh, various inorganic salt while rotary dryer mostly suitable for the drying free flowing granule solid which do not dust or stick right so it's uh, mostly used for the high at a high temperature and is mostly used for the calcination of the cement where uh, if we are going to discuss about the tunnel dryer which is a uh, applicable to drying paste or powder in tray so we can use tunnel dryer to uh, dry the seeds and various particular uh, step form product right so this is used for the only seeds and shaped form of product now let's discuss about the evaporation right so the, uh, there are mainly two types of uh, evaporator are used one is a open pan evaporator and second one is a multi effect evaporator uh, open pan open pan evaporator used for the small batches often of vis viscous such as a design are easy to clean and multi effect evaporator used to achieve maximum heat economy in evaporation of uh, meal back liquid or sugar syrup and for the inorganic chemical right so these are mostly used for the production of sugar and black liquid and inorganic chemical where the open pan evaporator are mostly used for the uh, to concentrate any product right now let's discuss about the solid solid separation the solid solid separation can be done by the screening uh, in screening wire plastic or fabric screen are uh, normally used to separate solid from the uh, various size of particle right so particle will be flow down from this pores and we can collect it so this is a very easy technique which used for 
solid solid separation larger particle are uh, not going uh, from this screen so it will be rejected and small particle will be transferred from this pore and we can easily collect so this is one operation which known as a solid solid separation can be done by the screening right second one is known as a eluteration in which which may be uh, used to remove fines from a solid by passing of gas to fluid like transportation or fine particles right here due to the cyclone shape uh, the larger particle are transport from this discharge line because of the centrifugal force right because of this centrifugal force is flowing like this and transfer from the discharge line where small particle we can collect from the upper side then next one which is a fourth flotation force flotation which mostly used to remove the suspended uh, particle from the water right uh, here we are just going to pass some gas and it create force right uh, so this force collect a small particle of metal that can be collected from the upper side and we can get the clear liquid here then second one is the jigging jigging is a technique which used for separation of solid solid particle one of the oldest process used for the separation of heavy minerals from the lighter uh, lighter gaseous as well as separation uh, separation of coal from the heavier contaminant so it is also used for the gas solid separation and solid solid separation also best example for this uh, sep uh, operation is a separation of coal from heavier contaminant third one is a magnetic separation which look like this in magnetic uh, separation which uh, mostly used to uh, trap the iron right uh, we know that magnet uh, attract the iron so it's used to separate out iron from the waste or uh, iron ores right so this is all about the unit operation so this is all about the today's lecture i am completing my lecture here thank you